Once upon a time, in a village in old Japan, there stood a grand monastery, home to a wise and diligent young Buddhist monk. This monk was a devoted disciple of a renowned Zen master, respected throughout the land for his wisdom and teachings. Every day, the young monk served the Zen master faithfully, learning important life lessons and revisiting them diligently. His dedication and obedience brought great satisfaction to his master, who had never found a reason to complain. One day, the Zen master decided to test the young monk's dedication with an important task. Calling the monk to him, he handed over a sealed letter and said, you must deliver this letter to its rightful owner in Kyoto. Under no circumstances should this letter be lost or fall into anyone else's hands. It's a matter of life and death for thousands of people. Without hesitation, the young monk prepared for his journey. He gathered food, strapped on his sword, mounted his horse and set out, riding quickly to deliver the letter as ordered. He rode tirelessly until he reached the banks of a wide river. A narrow bridge stretched across it, and standing at the other end was a fierce samurai warrior, holding a sword. This samurai had taken an oath to challenge and fight the first hundred people to cross the bridge. Ninety-nine people had already fallen to his blade, and he waited eagerly for his hundredth. As the monk's horse stepped onto the bridge, the samurai shouted in a thunderous voice, you have set foot on this bridge. Prepare to fight and meet your death. The monk felt fear rise within him, but he quickly remembered his master's words. The letter was too important to fail. Summoning courage, he spoke to the samurai, explaining the letter's urgency and asking for permission to deliver it first. I give you my word, he promised, that once I've delivered the letter, I will return to fight you. After considering the monk's honesty, the samurai agreed and allowed him to pass. With each step of his journey, the monk thought about the encounter on the bridge. Before he knew it, he had reached his destination and delivered the letter safely to its intended owner. Returning to the monastery, the monk recounted the entire experience to his master, hoping for guidance. But the Zen master simply said, there is no way to defeat a samurai warrior. Your death is certain. However, I can show you the best way to die. When you reach the bridge, hold your sword high above your head. Close your eyes, stand peacefully, and wait. When you feel something cold touch your head, you will know it is your death. With his master's words in mind, the young monk returned to the bridge, fully prepared for whatever lay ahead. This time, he had no fear or nervousness, only calm acceptance. When he reached the samurai, he did exactly as his master had instructed. He raised his sword, closed his eyes, and stood silently, waiting. The samurai watched in amazement. Never before had he seen anyone so calm, so peaceful, standing with such grace and without fear. It was clear to the samurai that this monk had encountered true wisdom. Seeing this strength, the samurai put down his sword, knelt, and said humbly, O oh, great teacher, please forgive me and accept me as your disciple. Teach me the way of such strength and peace. Friends, we are like that young monk, and life's most challenging problems are like the samurai. At times, we face situations where there seems to be no escape. In those moments, remember the monk's story. Don't react in fear or panic. Instead, calm your mind, close your eyes, and face your challenges with patience and peace. Like the samurai, even life's toughest battles may then bow before you. If you enjoyed this story, please like, subscribe, and share it with friends to spread the wisdom.